how much how much of the faith must one know in order to possess the true faith okay he can't reject parts of the true faith but how much knowledge of the faith how much knowledge of it i mean can he be invincibly ignorant of some aspects of the faith you know in which he accepts the true faith, and if he would know it's the true faith, he just didn't. He embraced the true faith, but there were some aspects of the faith that he was unaware of, or didn't know was what that he didn't know was true, but yet he thought it was false. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's a theolog. I think there's a debate. There's a theological opinions on what constitutes the virtue of faith, and how much of that is to be known. So that. This situation, I guess it would be like for instance, I mean, it would seem like let's look at the we're, we're here, we're here, Bishop Hayes speaking specifically of Protestants, but let's think of the Orthodox, okay, an Orthodox person who does have valid sacraments, although they are being done outside the Catholic Church, you know, but yet they are valid sacraments, and so if a man is in, is invincibly ignorant to the fact that he must join the Catholic Church, okay, it, then this, if he's considered invincibly ignorant to those facts, he does have valid sacraments that he can that he can avail himself of. And he wouldn't be c condemned or held guilty for uh, receiving sacraments outside of the Catholic Church when he thought this was the true church to be to be part of, that he was invincible ignorant to that knowledge and that this was he believed that the Orthodox Church was a true church. He's receiving these sacraments and they and they have confession, they have all the sacraments. So it's possible that there is a person like this who is living in a in a false religion, like the Orthodox Church. They don't have the, the true faith, but yet they have aspects of the faith you get what I'm saying? So 